you know, carrying personal EDC items on you is great to have in a moment's notice. But it's really good to put a little bit of forethought together and put together an EDC pack. And this is something that I've been carrying for a long time. In fact, for the past three and a half years, this bag with a lot of this gear, and that's changed over time, switching things in and out. But really having the things that you need at your fingertips, whether it's in your truck, you carry it with you, in the office, wherever. And a lot like the old Boy Scout motto, be prepared. Guys, I've had the Maxpedition Fat Boy for about three years. In fact, I did my first review on this bag back in September 2010. And I keep this bag with me. This is the bag I use more than any other. I guess because it's just the right size. Now you might look at this and say, man, that thing's stuffed to the gills, and it is. But this is the bag that I carry with me. I depend on this bag. I keep all my essentials in this. So this is really my EDC bag. Yeah, I keep, you know, my regular EDC knife, flashlight, all the things in my pocket, my concealed carry, all those things go with me wherever I am. But there are times where I need my bag, I've got certain things that I just don't want to carry on my body. And obviously you can see that you don't want to be carrying this around everywhere you go. But this bag has been my mainstay. And I keep all the essentials of things that I need on a daily basis. And so we're going to just look through and, of course, you know, whatever bag you choose. Of course, you can, you know, the Maxpedition Fat Boy is excellent. Uh, the Jumbo, I think, may be a little better in some ways, but I just like the size of this bag. Uh, but you can get more gear in the jumbo. But we're gonna go through and look at some of the things. This is just what I do and what suits my personal uh, personal life. And this may give you some ideas about what to carry and why I carry the things I do in this bag. Now this is somewhat of a little bit of a get home survival bag, but this is not all inclusive. This isn't a go bag. To be honest with you, it's not really even a get-home bag, even though I've got most of my essentials in here. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to start off with this little front pocket. We're just going to look through some things. Um, I do have a lighter. And of course, having extra batteries is important for your lights. A small compass and a bottle opener. And that's pretty much all I have in this front little pocket. Right here, I have a little Eagle Tac uh, flashlight. Really high lumens. Excellent light to really be able to get things going. And then in this little pouch, I keep a magazine, and of course, we'll get to that in a minute. And there's a pen on the outside here, and that's really handy to be able to get right to a pen if I need it. It seems like I'm always needing one, and uh, whether I have it in my pocket or not, it really fits well right here. Of course, my concealed carry, Glock 26. Typically, I have this on my body, uh, but if I am carrying this, I'll have something else in here uh, just to supplement. And of course, a 17-round magazine. So I get two 17-round magazines with my pistol because these hold the 17-rounders and then they have the standard 10-round in here normally. And this little side pouch, and this is something that I've been carrying. I used to carry this in just a roll, but with the spool tool and to be able to have that paracord, and of course I did a video on this little tool. This is an excellent addition for EDC to be able to organize your paracord. Open it up. And one of the things I love about the Maxpedition Fat Boy is there are layers of pockets so I can get into it and you know be able to get quick access to certain things. So I keep my pens up front. Of course, I have a Sharpie. I love to have Sharpies around and then just a regular pen. I write in the rain pad to be able to write down anything I need to uh, easily. Chapstick and some mints. And I always keep a thumb drive around. Again, this isn't a survival bag. This is an everyday carry bag. These are things that... In my course of life, I just like to have it my handy. Zippered pocket here. Keep a bandana really close. There's a lot of uses. In fact, I did a video, I'll have it annotated, about uh, the 40 plus uses of having a bandana. I do some strike anywhere weatherproof, windproof matches. I don't, I, sometimes I'll keep my fire kit in here, but sometimes I don't just because of the size. But I always have my fire kit in my truck or somewhere handy. But these are just supplemental. Also keep one of these dehydrated towels. Uh, just to add water, it'll puff up really large, and uh, but it's really easy to carry. Have one of the Frontier filter straws for water. Always carry fingernail clippers. And I have an extra pen here, and that has a lot to do with this little book that I keep notes in. Uh, not my right in the rain, but this is certain things that I'm needing to do that I need to forget. I just write them down in this little book. And even though this is a little bit seasonal, I always keep some bug spray. Just really important, uh, especially in warm weather. 
In the main pouch here, I have a headlamp. You know, I do have a flashlight, and I usually keep a small flashlight on me. But it's unbelievable how many uses you can find for a headlamp. It gives you both hands free, makes it really easy. I carry headlamps with all my gear because these are just so handy. Of course, for my fire kit, here are some uh, cotton balls covered in Vaseline. Keep that sealed up. Always keep a multi-tool with me and uh, the, the SOG, uh, Power Assist, this. I just did a review on this on my Suits channel. Uh, any kind of multi-tool, though, is really key to have, especially for EDC. And here's just a little paracord survival kit that I have with a whistle and a knife and a mirror and just some extras. And I've had this for a while, so it's really easy just to pack this in and uh, has some of the essentials. This is the AR500 Pocket Emergency Personal Injury Kit, or EPEC. And it tells about what all is in here. But this, a review is coming up with these, and I've got two or three different things that AR500 has put together. This is a great uh, kit for carrying this for EDC. Now, in my truck, I always keep a trauma kit with, you know, this more full, a lot of gear in it. But just to have on hand, this is excellent. And it's lightweight, and it slips right to the pack. And some of you may think, what in the world do you have a big heavy meal trash bag? But this is excellent for being able to cover things, uh, especially yourself in a rainy situation. Uh, this uh, poncho, I could probably get a real compact poncho to put in here. But this serves so many different uses, and I can cover myself if I get caught in the rain. Let's say I'm driving down the road and I have a flat tire. You know, covering yourself in the rain is really good to be able to keep yourself dry. I always get the real heavy meal, industrial strength. They're a little more expensive, but really for what they can do, it's really a, lot, a small investment uh, to, to stay dry. And then last but not least, back in here, I have a little New Testament. And of course, that's just because of my faith. But uh, having something good to read is always excellent. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of gear here to be able to carry. And for EDC, you definitely wouldn't put all this on your body. So it's really nice to be able to have a good, solid pack to be able to keep handy uh, it has a nice little grab handle, and that's typically the way I carry it. But if I need to, it does have the shoulder strap. And uh, no, this isn't a man purse. It's a satchel. So don't forget that, guys. You know, you're carrying this around. Don't call it a purse unless you're wearing high heels. So this is an excellent way, though, to keep a lot of gear together, to keep you always prepared. And uh, just like the old Boy Scout motto, be prepared. Of course, the Fat Boy is the main basis for everything. It's the transport. It carries things. And, you know, guys, you can spend a lot less money on a bag, but you're not going to get better quality than the Maxpedition. And like they say, you buy cheap, you buy twice. You buy Maxpedition, uh, this thing will last you, you a lifetime. Again, I've had this thing three years. I use it every day. I run these zippers back and forth, the uh, Duraflex buckles. Everything just holds up well on Maxpedition, so I just want to highly recommend it. You know, if you don't want to spend the kind of money that it takes to do it, I do understand that, and there are some good choices out there. But, you know, when you're making an investment of something you're doing every day, it does make it nice to have good quality. Now, the weight on my bag is about 8 pounds. That includes the Glock 26 and the two extra magazines. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Really, the weight's not that bad if you're not going to be carrying this around every day. And of course, if you are going to be carrying something like this to and from work or you're running in and out, you know, you may want to adjust it to suit you. So this is just what I use, what suits me. I'm sure that there's a lot of different things people are going to change, which is fine to suit you. But the big thing is a little bit of preparation ahead of time can really be convenient, but it could also be a lifesaver. So guys, these are just some things that I carry. You know, each of us are individual. We like and do different things. We have different preferences. And so down in the comments below, if there's some things that you see that you would like to add to this or maybe take away from it, please feel free to do so in the comments. And uh, it helps everyone uh, because a lot of people do go through the comments and read uh, and it gives a lot of good feedback. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And I do always keep a some kind of... Okay, uh, this is the pocket emergency always have my fire my fire kit okay. and if you want to check out my 40 plus uses for a vet bandana excellent <laughs> now in here I do always keep and of course 
course in this next little pocket I like the zippers um, damn it. What? and I always keep a USB of course one important EDC item that I didn't list that's what I have my fire kit for 